So, you want to edit video like a pro, do you? Stop. Stop it. No. Bad. We already did that. Pardon my feeble attempts at making a decent intro over there. He's... comedically challenged. Hey, I'm still here, you know. Oh, really? Now he doesn't exist. Yay! Ah! Good evening and welcome to another one of my videos. Today's video is about importing files into Blender's video editing template. So first of all, you might be wondering why my video editor looks so different from yours. That's because I made a video about changing the default startup file. In that video, I covered basically everything you would ever want set up by default. And if you haven't seen it yet, feel free to go check it out. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Today's video is all about importing, along with all the different methods you can use to import files. And while you might think that's really simple, I'm here to tell you it's not. See, the thing is, importing into Blender is more elaborate than what might first meet the eye. In case you're wondering, I'm referring to something very specific. I'm not very good with secrets, but just this once I'm gonna say, watch and find out. So, let's get into it. The first and most obvious method here is to just drag and drop from the Windows File Explorer. This is just some gameplay footage of me playing Terraria. Needless to say, I had a little bit of fun. <clears throat> I think you see what I mean there. Anyway, importing through the Windows File Explorer is simple. You can just drag and drop your video file and it automatically imports wherever you drop it. This is the method I use the most, but I find that it gets a bit tedious because half of the time I do it, I accidentally hover over the wrong thing for a split second and after that it refuses to bring Blender up. Honestly, I've been trying to get away from using this method. Just like with Windows File Explorer, importing through Blender's internal File Explorer is just drag and drop. This is where that file structure I made in the last video comes in handy. It's simple, so it's easy to navigate, and no need to deal with Windows opening the wrong window. Hopefully, unlike me, you haven't formed a nearly unbreakable habit of using Windows File Explorer for importing. If you can bring yourself to do it, I highly suggest using this method. Don't be like me. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. To import through the Add menu, you can hit Shift-A on your keyboard while your mouse is hovered over the timeline, or simply hit the Add button right here. After that, choose the type of file you want to import, and navigate to where it is. Then either double-click it or select it and hit the Import button. Ta-da! There it is. Next, I'm going to go over how to import image sequences. Oh, that's easy. Just drag and dr Wait a minute. Where are all the other frames at? Oh, right. Remember I said that importing into Blender is more elaborate than what might first meet the eye? Importing into Blender is more elaborate than what might first meet the- Shut up. This is what I was talking about. In Blender, image sequences can only be added using the Add menu. The option for it is, of course, right there. I've already made an image sequence to save me some trouble. But remember that an image sequence is just that, a sequence of images. So you can make your own with literally anything. That's me. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Now the thing is, Blender imports them based on the way they're sorted in here. So if they're oddly sorted, you're gonna have a bunch of weird jumpy frames. So make sure to come up here and sort it by either name or modified date or whatever they need to be sorted by. You should see your first frame up here and your last frame way down at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select every single one of them. You can do that by either hitting A to select all, double tapping A to deselect all, dragging in the window to use box select, which is a bit finicky, but it does work. Or you can just click the first or last one and then go to the very end of the opposite side, hold shift and click the one at the very end. With all of them selected, we can now hit the import button. I know the button doesn't say import, but I don't really care. It's the import button. Once you hit that, it'll import every frame. Also, I'd like to mention that you can reverse sorting to import your image sequence in reverse. So now it plays backwards. Pretty cool, huh? As for importing single images, you saw me do it a minute ago. All you have to do is drag and drop, or just select one of them whenever you're importing an image sequence. Also, having explained how to import video, I don't feel like I have to explain how to import audio. It's simple. Just drag and drop or add it through the menu. 
Wow, that just matched up by itself, didn't it? Well, I guess that's everything as far as importing goes. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you haven't already, go and uh, hit the subscribe button. I have a ton of videos planned. And if you want to be here to see them, that's the best thing you can do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the bloopers. No, leave me alone. I, I don't like you that way. Son of a-